What's going on everyone, this is Dom, and today we're taking a look at the top new and hidden features in iOS 11. So first up, Apple has redesigned a bit in iOS 11, and we have a couple of new icons like iTunes and the calculator app, but there's also a major overhaul inside of the App Store, which features new category tabs and a new layout. There's also a brand new Siri design, which looks pretty cool as well, but we'll talk more about Siri a little later. Next, we have a new feature with the Maps app which will actually allow you to view the inside of certain malls across the country. And I'm sure Apple will be rolling out support for as many as they can throughout the months following iOS 11's release. But it's actually a pretty neat little feature to be able to navigate the inside of a mall from your phone. We also have new notification center and control center designs. Now with the control center, everything is very different here. You can actually 3D touch on certain elements to access more features from them. And a nice little hidden gem here is the ability to customize the layout of the control center from within the settings app. Speaking of control center customization, there's a hidden feature in here that will actually allow for native screen recording. Yes, finally. All you have to do is enable that feature from within the control center settings and you can instantly start capturing your screen. Now when the recording is done, it'll be available in the photos app and playback is buttery smooth. Moving on to notification center, there's a cleaned up design happening here and you'll actually see recent notifications front and center, but if you swipe up, you'll be able to see all of them from earlier in the day. And this works the same on the lock screen as well and it's a very welcomed change in my opinion. Next, we have a brand new files app for iOS 11 that takes the place of the old iCloud Drive app. Now this new app gives you full access to files in your iCloud Drive and on your device as well as third party app integration from places like Dropbox, Microsoft OneDrive and more. Now jumping into the camera app, there's actually a pretty neat hidden feature here if QR codes still matter to you, but just point the camera at any QR code and it'll instantly read it. And that's pretty much all there is to say here. But while we're on the topic of camera and photos, the Photos app actually has some new effects available, one of which will allow you to create Instagram style boomerang videos from existing live photos. Now along with that, you can also fine tune live photos to pick the exact moment that you want, which is pretty nice. Apple has also added a new markup feature in iOS 11 that will work with photos, screenshots, or web pages. So if you see something you like, you can take a screenshot, and from there you'll have a small thumbnail in the bottom corner which you can tap on, and you'll have the ability to mark up the image using the various tools at the bottom. You can also mark up websites and save them as PDFs as well, which is a great feature instead of just having to share an image. But overall, the markup in iOS 11 is clutch. Now along with Siri's new design, there's a very cool translation feature which will work when translating English to French, German, Italian, Chinese, or Spanish, and it's baked right into Siri. But if talking to Siri isn't your thing, there's also a hidden option to enable type to Siri from the accessibility settings, which will do exactly what it sounds like and give you a text box with Siri instead of using the microphone. Moving over to the messages app, we actually have a couple of hidden nuggets here as well, including a couple of new message effects for when you're actually sending messages. And I know that's not super notable, but I'm actually a fan of them. And the two new ones here are a nice addition. But how about this? If typing those messages with two hands isn't your thing, Apple actually swiped an Android feature and has given us one-handed keyboards, which can be found by long pressing on the emoji icon at the bottom of the screen and selecting either a left or right oriented keyboard layout for better one-handed typing. Apple also has a brand new hidden dark mode called Smart Invert, which will actually invert the colors of the display except for images, media, and certain apps with dark backgrounds and colors for the most part. And it works pretty good. I've been playing around with it a little bit, but let me know what you think about Smart Invert in the comments section. Now finally, one of my favorite features of iOS 11 is the new person-to-person -person Apple Pay feature. So this will allow you to actually send money to your friends in an iMessage. Now from there, it'll be stored on your Apple Pay cash card and can be spent using Apple Pay or transferred to your bank account. And it's very, very awesome. It's pretty cool if you're into Square Cash or Venmo or any apps like that. But let me know which one of these iOS 11 features is your favorite in the comments section below. And be sure to leave this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and subscribe for more iOS 11 coverage in the near future. Thank you so much for watching everyone. This is Dom and I'll catch you in the next video.